Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Ashley, the amateur expert, coming to you live today on a Friday, waiting for some people to join us, and then I will get super, super, super started, because what? That is what my audio engineer has asked me to do, and I am going to listen. Hey, thank you for joining. Hey, Kevin. How are you? Hey, Joa. Let's see. I have no idea how to take this photo off now. <laughs> hey, B. Hey. Okay, I have to figure out how to take the photo off. Oh. Okay, we're back. So, hello, hello, everybody. It's your girl, Ashley, the amateur expert, coming to you live today for this episode of Asking for a Friend. I am super excited to have my aunt, Brittany, on with us. I hate calling her my aunt because why? She's like my sister. But here we are. Um, so, Brittany. Yes, Ashley. Nisi, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, so I was having a conversation with my homegirl the other day because, as you know, I started a firm armor. Mm -hmm. so you and we were straight today. You know, the fall line coming soon. I but anyway, <laughs> thank you. So we were talking about. So okay, you've started the line. And now what, right? And I was like, I know the perfect person I can talk to about this. Why? You, because you have um, 13 Dozen by B and you have been in business for years now. And so I would love for you to drop some gems on us and tell us um, the next steps. So um, if you could introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about who you are and your brand. Okay. So my name is Brittany. Um, most people call me B. I live in Florida, and um, I am a fashion designer. I have my own clothing line. I do a lot of custom clothing. Um, it's thirteen dozen by B here on Instagram. I started my business in two thousand and thirteen, I believe. Um, I told Ashley I had never been to New York. I took a trip to New York for the very first time, and Ashley took me around um, the garment district. So I was able to source fabric, find some vendors, and I've been using them from then. So I also think that your business name is super cool. And so I was wondering if maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Okay. And how you how you came up with that name. So I am the youngest of thirteen children. Um my dad had thirteen children, ten girls and three boys. Um and he always said like when he introduced me or anyone to his children, he would say, you know, this is number such and such. So for me, he would say, this is my baby girl. She's number 13. They told me they come cheaper out a dozen. So, I love that. <laughs> um, not actually cheaper out a dozen, but <laughs> me being the youngest, it's perfect. I love it. But um, yeah, so that's how my name came about, 13 Dozen by B. I love that so much. Um, and Affirmed Armor came for me because I needed to be um, affirmed while I was going through a tough time. And it was like wearing my armor. And I thought that like when things mean something to you, I think it's easier to, I don't want to say sell it, but uh, 
sell it, right? Like, because I mean, people fall in love it with your something. story. Right, right. So it's not just something that, like, I just wanted to start this. No, it means something for you. For sure. Um, and today, um, oddly enough, is the uh, anniversary. David. Yeah, yeah, it's the anniversary day. of my father, your brother's death. Yeah. And so it's almost, I don't want to say eerie, but perfect that we're doing this together yeah. today. Because we can be together, but um, to be able to talk to you today made me feel special. Yeah. Um, so yeah, your podcast. You see? This is something that you love. I love it. Shout and so I... To you. <laughs> thank you. So I'm wearing an Affirmed Armor shirt, but I want to talk to you about the shirt that you're wearing. So this is one of my um, designs here. I made this sweatshirt last year. Sorry if you see the mess in the background. Super cute. <laughs> nope. Um, so yeah, I made this sweatshirt last year uh, for myself. I had some fabric left over. Actually, I made a dress out of this fabric for um, <laughs> one of your friends. Or some one a client of, for, for one of my friends. Well, it was for me. Um, okay, I made it for me, and I had fabric left over. Out of all of this, all of this was just pieces of fabric, and um, I saw a sweatshirt similar to this, but it was like plain fabric, so different okay. colors. Mm -hmm. And I love prints. My brand is basically, you know, like we love prints. That's one of my slogans. Um, so. Of course, it's animal print. Animal print is always going to be in fashion. I feel last year, snake skin was like a big, big thing. So mm -hmm. um, I was at the shop one day after prom season, and I was like, you know, I want to make some sweatshirts. So because it's cool, I made a sweatshirt, and this is one of the sweatshirts I made. The arms are a little different. That's super cool. So where do you draw your inspiration from? Um everywhere like looking at pictures um I screenshot a lot of stuff mm -hmm. um most mm -hmm. times like I like to use spandex because it's easier to me but I do use all different types of fabric um but I really get inspiration from ev everywhere other designers um things that I might see like I might like something from this, something from that, and I'm like, oh, let me see if I can do like the sleeves like this, and uh -huh. I, I like, like it fitted or something. It just comes from everywhere, really. I like. I think it. I think I express myself with what I wear. Mm. Um. So tell me this, as someone who just started a line, um. I am a creative, right? Like mm -hmm. I see things, I get super excited and I want one of every color. I want to offer this, this, and this, but I'm realizing that um, that can become um, one, fiscally risky, right? Mm -hmm. um, because I don't know right now who my customers are and what they necessarily want. So how do you decide what you're going to bring to market? Do you focus more on like what you like and what you think is cool? Do you do surveys from your um, from your customers? Like how do you navigate that? I mean, okay, so this goes back to like kind of how my business started. Um, I saw a designer make a, like she had a dress made and I reached out um, I wanted something a little bit different and she responded and then she stopped responding. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, I know how to sew. I can make something for myself. Okay. Um, so I got my sewing machine and I was just like, you know, I'm going to try it out. I tried to make myself something and I wore it. I put it on, took pictures. And when I had posted my pictures on Instagram, people were like oh I love your dress you know like that's mm -hmm. so cute and they wanted to know like where I got it from and I'm like well I made it and for me it's always like what I like um I like I like to stand out I don't like to look like everybody else and most times people want to see people want what you're wearing so I just had this conversation with my friend today. Yes. People want what you're wearing. Like 
a lot of people, some people are trendsetters, and that's cool to be a trendsetter, but some people, they like, like, when you're fashionable or when it's something cute, they want to wear that. Um, a lot of people don't want to look like everyone else. So if you have something that's, like, my my, my clothing is mostly custom made. So mm-hmm. it is, it is, like, one of a kind. Yeah. Um, but as far as your friend, like, being in business, I think, just making it stand out from other people, like whatever other people are doing, um, that always makes a big difference. And if you like it, your customers will like it. Um, Yeah. People like to see you and your product. So most times, like if I wear something, they're like, ooh, can you make me one? And it might not be the exact same thing, but like I made this sweatshirt in a different color and I had Mm -hmm. like the line of it. Um, It was lime green. And it was still snake print, but the snake print was sequins. I had leopard and... Um, I'm still waiting for mine, actually. You said you didn't want those colors. You wanted something more neutral. I did. So. And I, I'm, I'm still waiting for that. <laughs> we got a comment. We got some things in the works. Sorry. All right. All right. Some all right. Are in the works. But, you're right. You're right. Um, you know, like, people like to see you... When they see you in the stuff, they're like, oh, yeah, I want you to make me something. And most times they, they they might not want the exact same things that I've made for myself, but they like mm-hmm. just make me something that you know something exclusive. So it's just like okay, well, how can I make this a little bit different? So right. um, I try to consider that like most times, like with your with your affirmed armor. Um, I just placed my order the other day. I was so excited um, when I visited your site. What Thank I love, excited blabber but I love that it was easy to navigate um thank you that's very 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 easy to navigate on your site um and I like the different colors that you offer I'm I love monochromatic so um like your shirt today I'm like well that's really (laughs) cute because it's fall colors burgundy um Yes, it's, it's coming. Nice it's, it's coming it's, soon, so you can still see what it says, but it's like you know, it's branded. Yeah, and so, but that's been sort of I won't say a struggle for me, but um, something that I'm working with, uh, trying to figure out how to handle because I posted the sweatshirt, and people were like, "Oh, I love this, but I want mine like this, or I want like this," and I'm like, "Okay, right?" Because I want to make my customers happy or I want to gain a customer but I also don't want to make myself crazy so trying to navigate that right because I don't want to lose a customer so what are your what are your how do you navigate that I feel like if someone is going to support you they're going to support you regardless like yes you can tweak a, a few things for your customers but you also want to you want to like it too so mm-hmm. So, for instance, like, when I initially made this sweatshirt, um, it was cropped. But everyone isn't going to want to wear something that's cropped. Mm -hmm. So, I made it oversized. um, Because then it's it's more likely to be unisex. And when you're brand, when, when you're, you have to think not just for a certain season. Not not season, but not for um, one demographic. A certain demographic. That's the word I was looking for. So, mm-hmm. like, you don't want it to just be for women. You don't want it to just be for men. You want it to be like for both. You know, a yep. woman, a male or a female can wear this. So, most times men won't wear prints, but some men will just yeah. because it's it's unique. You know, it's different. So, I know a man isn't gonna wear a crop sweatshirt so well I that's not true some some of them yeah. are some men may but most your men. most of your customers would not right most of my customers would not wear a male crop. customers would not yeah right uh, a crop sweatshirt and even for other women like that I was you know hoping to reach they wouldn't want to wear just a a crop top a crop sweatshirt so the over the oversized look worked um and it actually sold out, surprisingly. I made eight of them, and they sold out. I love that. Um, how do you go about um, – how did you go about defining who your customer was? Um, 
I can't actually say I know who my customer is because I have so many different types of customers. Like, I get um, – my main age group is usually – in between 18 and I'll say like maybe 30. Mm-hmm. Um, most times it's people that want to go out, but mm-hmm. some people do want custom clothing for their children. Um, some people get stuff made for birthdays. It just depends. So and you, like, I don't, you're very busy during prom season as well. Yes. Prom season was very busy for me last year um, with the with COVID-19, the pandemic, not so much this year, but last mm-hmm. year prom season was really good. I also had a wedding. So it, it, it really, I had my very first wedding last year, like bridal party. Mm-hmm. Um, so my customer, it, it varies because honestly, I feel like whatever I put my mind to, I can do it when it, when it comes to sewing. I love that. Yeah, I'm still trying to define who exactly my customer is. Um, and I know that's going to, be pivotal in regards to marketing and things of that nature of but right now I'm just wearing it and seeing who who likes it like you said um what else do I want to ask you about um price you, you you have to figure out who your target audience is based on you know like what type of customers you want to retain mm, as well that's good so um like if you want if you want it to be like people that are into fitness, if you want it to be people who want to express themselves and whatever, like you have to figure that out. Yeah. I think I'm going to start doing some polls. Um, I have an email listserv. So like you utilizing that in social media as well. Um, In regards to making your price point, um, it's widely known that, um, how do I want to say this the nice way? Um, our friends and family sometimes want to support you, but at a discount. Mm -hmm. How do you go about be sticking firm or do you like, how do you go about navigating what your prices are and how you decide to discount or not discount them? So the thing about that, like I said earlier, people are going to support you regardless. Like if they want to support you, they will. Um, Support doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get a discount or get something for free or that you necessarily have to even purchase something from me. There's people that haven't purchased something from me, but I know they support me. They tell people about, you know, what I have. They repost it. Um, Everybody might not, like for for me with making custom clothes, everybody might not want something custom custom made. Everybody might not want to wear a print or whatever, but um like my mom even I don't necessarily make stuff for my mom all the time but she's always telling somebody her daughter sews and if they say they want something made then she's like well here's her car here's you know whatever so um as far as discounts goes it's when you want to give a discount when you want to do something it's not necessarily when they want to so if they want a fine armor shirt like Cool, go to my site and order it. <laughs> you know, like if you have a discount code, um, then you can use it. You know, like or if you even want to just say, well, family and friends, I have five percent off um, from this day to this day. But everyone wants to make money. Everyone is trying to get to the next level, so we have to all support one another. I mean, I look at it as if a firm armor was in. Nordstrom you know um my friend Sally isn't going to go on Nordstrom and say hey can you give me a discount on this affirmed armor that's my aunt or that's my cousin (laughs) right yeah no that's a good point they're going to look at you like you don't have a discount (laughs) okay (laughs) yeah um, I think as people we have to learn to support without wanting a discount or expecting something in return you know that's really good um um yeah I'm super excited about the growth of both of our brands um I am um inspired by your longevity in the fact that you started and you've continued to go and um you've gotten better over time Mm -hmm. and 
I'm excited to see what's next, um, especially my sweatshirt, but also, <laughs> also looking forward to see how we can collaborate in the future. Um, I am, again, so thankful that we did this today. And when we were talking about money, it made me think about TJ when he would say, if it don't make money, it don't if make. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. My brother would sell anything. He used to sell quinones. <laughs> And deal with those, okay? And he would tell oh, you, man. I got them DVDs. What CDs. Listen. CDs, DVDs, dildos, whatever you need. Every hustler. Yes. And I think even more than, or, or in addition to that, for me now is making an impact, right? Um, and making, for you, making people feel good in their custom clothes. For me, making people feel um, affirmed and encouraged. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to thank you. You've given me so much information to take back to my friend. And um, I wish your friend the best. <laughs> she says thank you i'm sure she says thank you um i love you so much and tell everybody where they can uh how they can support you or how they can find you if they're looking for some custom clothing um my instagram is at 13 dozen by b um ashley has it pinned here it's one three the number spelled out dozen d-o-v-e-e-n by b-e-e -E. Um, you can reach out to me via email. You can hit the email button on my page. Um, I do respond to emails rather quickly. Um, I don't have my site up right now, but great things are in store. Um, a lot of revamping going on. Listen, so. this is the time to do it. Um, again, thank you for being on the show and can't wait to see what's coming next from you. Thanks for having me and congratulations to your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, we have to be still and take a photo. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> have a good weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week, Tuesday. Special guest. Can't wait to announce who it is. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.